Hey you guys, this is Renee from BowBeautyBlog.com. Welcome back to our YouTube channel. We got something really cool in the mail again. This is not a sponsored video, uh, just to let you know. Um, I did get the thing, the cool thing for free, but um, no obligation to do a video or anything. It's just really, really cool because it's in time for the holidays and holiday parties, all that kind of stuff. So a while back, Jerry and I were sitting there looking on social media and we found this thing that popped up. You know how all these nifty little videos and clips pop up in your feed? And it was this thing for LED eyelashes. And I'm like, wow, that's pretty cool. And it was like some Kickstarter campaign or there was something that was just being developed or something. And we're like, well, that's pretty neat. That, you know, that would be great for like, you know, Halloween or parties, you know, the holidays, New Year's Eve, that type of thing. Well, we got some in the mail. So they look like this. And this is blue LED, and they're not, they're not branded. It just says LED eyelashes. They came from Amazon. Skinosm, S-K-I-N-O-S-M, waterproof LED eyelashes. And, well, they're not actually lashes. It's just a strip of LED lights. There's no actual lashes on here. But I don't know what else they would call them. So, anyway, we decided I'm not going to put them on without you guys that we wanted to do a video of attempting to put them on just to see if they're like, if they suck to put on or if they're really easy and how they function and yada, yada, yada. So, and also um, I use the, just I put on glittery, you know, metallic eyeliner and did some wings there with like some silver glitter and blue metallic and I used my pink, you know, metallic glittery lipstick. It's the Buxom, it's the new Buxom Metallics Lip Glide, it's the pink one. Um, which color is it? A pink Luminati. There's four different shades of it, so it's got like sparkles. And it's really, really moisturizing. So, anywho, let's open these up and see what they look like. Okay. So, it has this thingy right here. I'll show you guys. This is what's in there. And it has this thingy. It's kind of like a soft silicone rubber. And it has, it looks like two little plugs or ports or whatever. And then in here is like a circuit board. And it's got a little plastic tab that I imagine you pull out, like when you get something new that's battery operated. Oh, and it looks like it has a little button right here. Not button, it's a button while we're on the subject. And then there's also, this is in here. Oh, and a little hair clip. A little metallic hair clip. Oh, I wonder. I'm betting this fits in this little slot because it looks like a little you know, band here, you know? Does that, do you think that might be it, Jerry, that it fits in there? Okay, he's nodding. And then in here is this. Okie dokes. There are cords with little strips of lights in here. They have each one wrapped like in an individual twist tie, I guess to keep them separate so that they don't get tangled up. And alrighty. I don't have, sorry for the black outfit and the black background. I just wanted to make sure that, you know, when I turn these on, that the lights show up right and all that kind of stuff. So that is why I'm like a floating head right now, floating head and neck. Okay, now, this is curved, like kind of like rainbow shaped, like an arch. So I don't think it would go like this, because it doesn't really, because even though your eyelid goes like that, you know, that's when your eye is open. I think this is going to be like, you know, false lashes, where the curve goes like this, and then it goes around like, nope, maybe not. Okay, so it is going to go like this. That's the LEDs right there, the, the silvery things. Alrighty, I'm back. I had to show Jerry this and discuss the issues with the curve with him. So it looks like it is going to be with the curve going up. I held it up to this mirror like this, and it is going to be with the rainbow up because I tried to do it like this. And it's just not going to work. It's just going to curve up on the ends if I do it like that. 
So I believe this is going to be the opposite. Yes, so this one is going to go like this, and like this. So match them up with your eyebrows, and that's what eye they're each going to go on. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to test these before I put them on to make sure that they are going to work. And they have little three prong plugs because I don't want to have to get this on my head and glue them on my eyes and then find out they don't work because that would just be a big pain in the ass and that would suck really bad. All right, now I'm going to pull out the little strip. There we go. And I will push on the light. There we go. I don't know if you can see them, but they're on. Cool, huh? So I am going to turn these off, I guess, before I put them on. Well, I don't know. I guess I will. I'll turn them off. It's going to be annoying looking in this mirror. Okay. I'm going to just use Duo Adhesive because that's what I have on hand and that's what I reached first. And I don't have any mascara on right now. I haven't curled my eyelashes because I always do that after I put on, you know, adhesive eyelashes. It's just easier that way. So I figure it'll be easier doing it like this too. I'm not going to cut any or trim any because I don't know how that would affect the LED lights. Putting it on the back. And just make sure that you put it on the side that does not have the lights on it. And as Jerry was mentioning earlier, I think he was confused as to what I was talking about. I wasn't talking about the lights, I was talking about the actual curve of the arch. How am I gonna, where can I lay this so it doesn't get glue everywhere there? I'll just let it hang. That'll work. And next one. I really hope this works, you guys. I mean, I really do. Because this is serious. This would be really cool for like a holiday party. All right, I'll let those set for a few minutes or a minute actually or so. And I'm gonna comb my eyelashes a bit because I'm going to curl them after I put these things on. When I'm looking in the mirror, just so you guys know, I had on one video, one of our first ones, like all these people saying, why aren't you looking in the camera to put on makeup? But I have to look into a mirror to put on makeup. I can't look at a camera lens and see what the fuck I'm doing. So if just for those of you who are going to gripe and say, why am I not looking at the camera when I'm putting eyelashes on or something like that? It's because I got to look in the damn mirror, okay? So let's see. All right. And I think this one's probably going to be ready and tacky enough. We shall see. And Oh, and what I did is I put on, I did a turquoise wing. And then I put on a really, really thick band of black liquid liner just to kind of camouflage the strips on these. 
Let's see. Kind of bend them a little bit to curve them. Okay, you guys, what I'm noticing is that this wire is like pulling this down. I'm pulling the dang thing off of my eye. So... Well, that sucks. Okay, fail. Let me put more glue on it and try this over again. Let's see. I'm really getting to kind of disenchanted now. Alrighty. Let's let this one set again. And I'll try the other one. I can get this one to work on this other eye. Bend it a little bit. I'll put this over my ear just to kind of take some of the... There's glue getting all over my face. Alright, I'm going to use these tweezers just to try to hold this shit in place. And now I'm not even paying attention to the black line that I did. Alright, that's as good as it's going to get. And then in the picture, you guys, it showed that this wire, it looked like a fishing line in all the pictures, but it doesn't. There's like little colored wires. You know, I don't know if you can see that they're colored wires. It doesn't show a whole lot. But. All right. Now I'm going to try this other one again. We'll see. Okay, that's better. Now I got that one on. I still don't really want to mess with it too much or move around too quickly for fear that it will come off because I'm not sure how well attached it is. And with the weight of the cord pulling at it, it's kind of a pain in the ass. So I'm definitely going to need some mascara just to kind of camouflage shitty job I did putting these on. So I'll curl my eyelashes just a bit. But I don't want to put on too much mascara because I don't want it to cover up, you know, the flashing lights. So just put on just a little bit. I mean, if anything, it might help hold the thingies on. So, all right. 
Now, let's see this shit. All right. Okay. Now this side. Well, I guess it's a good thing I'm not a fighter jet pilot because Holding my arms like this, my depth perception isn't that great. Did I have it? Nope. There, got it. Okay. Now let's pull these to the side. We've turned the thingy on. Okay, oh, it's blue, blue light on my eyes. And then I clip this on. I'm gonna take out my ponytail, see if my hair will cover up some of this line that's on it. Okay, now all I did, I stuck the clip through there. And then, unless maybe that clip is made to hold these tight, I don't know. Maybe so. Who knows? It didn't come with any instructions, so... It came from Amazon, though, so I'm sure I, you could look on Amazon. I'm just not... You know, I didn't do that. Okay. Let's cover that up. Alrighty guys, we're gonna turn off all the lights, so we'll be back in just a moment. I don't have to turn too many of them off. Okay. Alrighty, you guys. Actually, these are pretty, these turned out to be pretty cool. Despite the, you know, issues I had applying them, just don't get really fancy with your eye makeup or your eyeshadow because you're going to have to apply them up a little bit higher because the band is quite thick. So, I mean, you're not really going to see, you know, any fancy schmancy stuff that you do, but they are pretty cool, you know, for like a party. I wouldn't wear these on a regular basis. I would probably wear them New Year's Eve for a short period of time. Maybe, you know, like right before midnight, I'd go put these on. You know, so my makeup wouldn't be like fucked up for the whole New Year's Eve party. But right, you know, before that moment, I'd go put these on. You know, so when everybody has champagne and, you know, that ball thing like somewhere off, you know, in New York or wherever comes dropping down, then that's probably my mom. But anyway, so they're cool for that, and for the price, I think they're only like $7.99 if you buy them on Amazon. I'll leave the link down below. It's not an affiliate link. It's not sponsored. I won't make any money off of it, but they are kind of cool, like I said, so I just wanted to show them to you guys because, hey, LED lights, right? But anyway, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel, and we'll see you in our next video.